Inventor is a parametric modeler. It creates parametric part models. You can create and edit 3D geometry efficiently with parametric part models, which are controlled primarily by geometric and dimensional constraints. A typical part consists of 2D sketches with geometric and dimensional constraints and give you the resulting 3D solids that you see on the screen. If I come in here and look, this part is made up of just a simple sketch. If I modify the size of that sketch, it modifies everything about that part. That hole got larger, but the chamfer went along with it. It was smart enough to understand that the chamfer was in relationship to the hole. So when the hole sizes change, the chamfer changes. The hole, the notch, the edges are all what are considered sketched features. Sketch features means that somebody came in, created a sketch, and drew out the intent of what they wanted. We put a little circle here on the edge, gave it a center line to be able to dimension it off of. And if I say 0.55, control where that little notch is. And then you go in and extrude it. You can see our little notch or a little set pin. That is all because it's a sketched feature. The other option is a placed feature. Placed feature are things like this chamfer and this fillet that don't need a sketch to be created. They're based on the actual hard geometry. So you just tell it, I want to add a nice soft edge right here, or I could say this entire loop, Hit OK. So now my gears have a nice soft edge. I did not have to create a sketch to be able to create that placed feature. With Inventor, you do have something that's called a base feature. What this is, is it's the very first thing that you created. If I turn off all these other features, it's essentially the base raw piece of clay that we started with to create this. This has a sketch just like all the other features do, but it's the first one there and it's the meat of what we're designing basically. So to create a parametric model, here's kind of the process. We start out with a sketch, simple 2D sketch that we give information to. We tell it, this is how big I want this. We extrude this out as our base feature. Then we add additional features based on secondary sketches. What this means is this sketch has relationships to the other sketches that are already there. We don't have to redraw them from scratch. Once we get all of our sketched features in there, then we can start adding placed features. What that means is, is we just took, for example, this tooth here. We took the original one and we patterned it. We didn't need a sketch to do that. We were able to just reuse that geometry over and over again. We can add additional placed features, such as our chamfers and fillets. This allows us to modify and tweak out our part. We will get into fillets and chamfers and some procedural type things later on. The idea is that you want to do the biggest stuff first and work your way down to the smaller and finer and finer details. Fillets and chamfers take a lot of memory, take a lot of processing, so you want to leave those towards the end so you're not recalculating those as you draw apart the entire way. Once you get all of your features in there the way you want them, you finish your model. Now your model is a parametric part. We hit save, and we can go on to the next part. It's as simple as that, and there's not a whole lot of overthinking to put into parametric modeling. It just means that you have a history of what you've done and that you can control it later if you need to. Parametric modeling is what makes Inventor so powerful.